Hi everybody, today is May 2nd, 2014. Quake risks at New England nuclear power plants cited. Two U.S. Senators, Edward J. Markley and Elizabeth Warren, are calling for increased safety measures at two area nuclear power plants after the Nuclear Regulatory Commission report found potential vulnerabilities to earthquakes. In a letter to the NRC Chairwoman, Allison McFarlane, on Friday, Markley and Warren asked the Commission to require that Pilgrim Nuclear Power Station in Plymouth and Seabrook Station in Seabrook, New Hampshire, implement mitigation measures against seismic risks that were previously unknown. More likely, these plants were built for only a magnitude 5 earthquake. That was the standard back then. Following the 2011 meltdown at Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant, which was sparked by an earthquake and tsunami, the NRC established a task force to evaluate possible vulnerabilities at U.S. nuclear facilities and the need for enhanced regulatory oversight according to the NRC report released Thursday. Markley and Warren were alarmed by the newly evaluated seismic risks at the two area facilities which are greater than they are originally licensed to withstand, the senators said in the letter. Next era, Energy Seabrook Station, who runs the New Hampshire plant, said on Friday night that they would be conducting an evaluation. The further evaluation of Seabrook does not mean that the safety system structures or components are inadequately protected against a seismic event, said Sarah Klotman Gibo, a spokeswoman for the company, in a statement. Seabrook is designed and built to withstand much stronger earthquakes than ever recorded in this region, and the plant is designed to safely shut down within seconds in the unlikely event of a strong earthquake. This initial screening used highly conservative assumptions about highly unlikely events, comparing the existing seismic design of Seabrook to revise seismic standards. At this point, we do not anticipate that any major modification or enhancements to the plant will be needed. A representative for the Pilgrim plant could not be reached for comment. The Pilgrim nuclear plant entered service in 1972. Then in 2006, Energy files with the NRC to renew the original 40-year operating license for an additional 20 years to operate. In 2012, the NRC renews reactor license. License expires in 2032, making the plant over 60 years old. Next era identified degradation of below-grade concrete structures at Seabrook in June of 2009 and confirmed the problem was from alkali silica reaction, or ASR, in August of 2010. ASR is a chemical reaction that can cause expansion and cracking in concrete, potentially resulting in structural problems. Seabrook entered into service in 1990, even though it is one of the newest reactors in the nation. Next era in June of 2010 applied to the NRC to renew the plant's original 40-year license for another 20 years. The original license does not expire until 2030. The NRC Near Team Task Force asserted the potential risk posed by natural disasters to U.S. nuclear reactors. The new earthquake risk evaluation has been ongoing since about 2005, NRC spokesman Scott Brunell said Friday. The recent measurements of seismic risk outlined in the report predicted the largest shaking that nuclear plants will have to deal with in the next, say, 10,000 years. He said, all central and eastern U.S. reactor licensed about 60 submitted the required hazard revaluation to the NRC in March, said Brunel. Brunel said, however, that the plant submitted evaluations to the NRC concluding that additional precautions taken in the course of the station's initial construction should be sufficient to handle any of the new predicted seismic events right all right put your comments down below bookmark my site i'll keep you up to date please stay safe and i'll talk to you later Goodbye. bye